I'm trying out a new method uh, in lieu of using the Yusuke method for starting my mains. What I've got now is I've got a stirring clamp on one main and I'm going to pull the other main. I realize when I do this I'll have full tension on the string that I'm pulling but something less than that on the string that's clamped with the starting clamp because of the friction up here in the uh, frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my tension. I want to make sure that my starting clamp is fairly straight so I don't have any slippage in that clamp. I'm going to adjust my clamps. Now I'm going to pull tension on one more main. Now I'm going to remove my starting clamp. I need to adjust this clamp because I was stringing with a 17 gauge string earlier. Then I'm going to come down and run this main. This will be the first time now that these two strings or two clamps come together. And I've got plenty of room to get that clamp in there without the clamps bumping up against each other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to string my frame never getting more than one string ahead on any one side. The reason I'm doing this is I ran a little test and the frequency comes out a little bit better uh, <clears throat> when I compare uh, like-numbered mains on each side of the racket if I don't get more than one string ahead. I used to use a 3-6 method, but now I'm just doing one string at a time on each, ahead on each side. Then I'll switch over to the other side of the racket. I hope this method of, of stringing helps you out. Also, if you're using flying clamps, when you've got the starting clamp here and you pull tension on this other string, you can clamp these two together. You've got two strings there to clamp on. Then when you pull down on the other string, you can clamp those two together. When you pull on this string, you can clamp these two together. So this will work for flying clamps or fixed clamps. Okay, I've got uh, all but two of the outside veins ran in now. Or excuse me, I've got all but the last two on each side ran in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop here for a second while these clamps are down here at the bottom and I'm going to run in my top crosses. That way when I block these holes up here I'll already have my cross string ran in there and I won't have any problem uh, getting my string in there. This is a Wilson Sensation string, so it's a little bit soft, and I don't want to run into any issues. All right, I'm ready to string in my crosses now. One thing I want to show you is I've got two strings here, and I'm putting them in grommet hole number 11. Grommet hole number 11 is a good uh, grommet hole to tie off if you want to tie off a cross on a cross and a main on a main. So, uh, that's the grommet hole that I'm going to use to tie off my uh, cross strings. All right, I'm going to start my crosses now and always or usually start just below the outside main. Then I'll come back on the same side on this side. Now I can go on and finish up my uh, last mains. Alright, when I pull tension now, I'm not going to tie this string off right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this string. 
Then I'm going to move over to the other side again. Now that these outside mains has had a little time to relax, I'm going to tension this string again, release my clamp, clamp it back down again, take the base of the clamp and push it towards my tension head just, just slightly. And the reason I'm doing that is so I won't have as much drawback. Then I'll tighten the base of my clamp. I'm not increasing tension on this last outside main, but I am trying to stretch it out a little bit more. And I'll go on and tie it off. Now I'll come over and do the same thing on this side. tie this string off. There you go. I'm uh, ready to cut off my tails now, but before I do, I'm going to release my clamps to let these knots tighten up just a little bit. Then I'm going to clip off the string. Then start my crosses. All right, when I start the crosses now, uh, I used to use a Yusuke method where I'd pull both of these strings, but I found that that created some problems. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my crosses the same way I started my mains. I'm going to put my starting clamp back on there, <clears throat> and I'm going to pull on the second cross. And I'm going to go all the way down the racket stringing my mains. Excuse me, I'm going to go all the way down the racket stringing my crosses. I made a little small problem here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, remember I told you before when I string the uh, crosses, uh, sometimes if I can I'd like to tie off a cross on a cross and a main on a main. So I've tied off my mains on a main and when I come down here to the cross on a cross, what I'm going to do is I've got this string right here that uh, I'm going to use for a tie-off hole. And I can also get two strings in this grommet hole. It's a little hard, but uh, they will go in there. So what I'm going to do now is I've ran in this string, and rather than going from this cross all the way up here to this tie-off hole when I finish, I'm going to skip the next hole. Then, when I get down here at the bottom, I'll go up to here and go across there, and now I'm going up only one grommet to get to my tie off. So now, Okay, I just tensioned this string right here, and I can't come back up here and take this clamp off because I'm going to need this clamp to hold it. And it's going to be difficult to put a starting clamp right here because my support's in the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this string again now, just to get a little bit of extra tension out of there, because this is my tie-off string. Push the base towards the tension head and then clamp it. Then I'm going to tie off right up here. The 
Again, I'm tying a cross on a cross. Now, when I come up here now, um, I've got my tail here. I'm going to take my clamp off here now. Uh, since I've retensioned this string, I now have full tension on that top cross. So, but, <clears throat> but if I come down here to 11, I've got a lot of distance that I'm going through on the outside of this frame to tie off, and that's going to give me uh, a bit much uh, string there, putting a greater distance between my clamp and my tie-off point to tie off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie off up here on this main. What I should have done is ran in the second cross first and then pulled the top cross and then went down to the third cross and went on down the racket. Then it would have made sense to tie off on uh, 11 hit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie off here on looks like uh, 5 hit of the racket. Again, I'm going to pull tension just a second time, just to make sure I get all the tension out of this string. Then I'm going to tie it off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day.